What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube stipulation draft. Today, stipulation is by T Bombadil, and the the stipulation is thick boys only. All creatures must have toughness four or greater. Token generators are allowed, but final deck must have a minimum of five thick boys. Colors and archetypes are up to you. Reanimator, sneaking show, ramp control, etc. I can pick whatever I want, but they have to be thick boys. Just spent an entire Frank Bank em opening and emptying a pomegranate. Dude, pomegranates are some drama. More like drama granite, am I right? I think uh, Elspeth is probably a good start for the thick boys. White has a lot of thick angels and, and titans and things. Um, black kind of forces us into reanimator because all their black creatures are real big. <laughs> for Storm here, that feels terrible. Lingering Soul is also an option. That's two colors. Elspeth is one color. We're going to go with the Elspeth. Ooh, Karn. Karn himself is a thick boy. Also, bribery is thick city. Factor Fiction is good, too. This pack is gas. And we also have to have a minimum of five thick boys, so... Um... Oh, look, it's Mean Mugger. Mean Muggin' all day. And it's Biovisionary with the Thick Boys. The Thick Boys. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! It's either this, this, or this. I don't think it's this. I think it might be this. I think Bribery might be better than Karn. But Karn keeps us open. I'm gonna go with Karn. I don't know if it's great. I'm gonna take swords to plowshares here because there are no thick boys in this pack. Sneak attack though. Sneak attack. I lied to you. I will take a sneak attack and hope this sacred foundry or the swords comes back. Well, that is a uh, this is a card. <clears throat> There are no thick boys in this pack. Doretti's okay. Discard two, then draw two. Sphinx is hella thick, but I don't know if we have a way to get it into play other than just paying eight mana for it, which I'm not super on board with. Snack attack? You know, I'm not sure. I'm between naps now. Same. Um... Yeah, but sneak attacking a 6-6 six, six and just, like, dealing six is... Pretty medium. Uh, I'm going to take the Doretti, I think. I'm not thrilled with it. Might be Young Pyromancer. No, we can't actually play Young Pyromancer. Whatever. Doretti's fine. Oh, Sun Titan. Yes. Also, Angel of Serenity will probably come back. Scarab God's pretty sweet as well. It also makes thick boys. But, I mean, Sun Titan's on brand here. It's on color. I'm going to go with the Sun Titan. I'm going to steer. I'm going to stick with the colors we have. I don't want to branch out into two colors that we don't have whatsoever. Well, Sun Titan didn't have to get creatures back necessarily. It could also get Planeswalkers back. It could get uh, Vindicates back. It could get a Revel Arc back, perhaps? Hmm, maybe? None of those things are accurate. Not a single thing I said was accurate. What about Mardu? You guys like Mardu? I mean, our only options on color are these two, and we can't play either of them, so I'm going to just take the Vindicate. Because maybe we're not red. <clears throat> Avacyn is a sweet little angel... Bane Slayer. This is why we took. This is why we went with the the red or the white rather, because most of the white cards I could think of that I that I don't have a problem playing uh, are pretty thick. Mm, Lingering Souls comes back. All right, we're gonna put these. We're gonna scrap. We're gonna scrap these two. I think Sneak Attack is great, but it's the only red card that I really care about. Whereas Lingering Souls is actually pretty insane here. Scrubland comes back. Yep. Courtyard. Okay, we're doing it. Yeah, this is pretty sweet then. Yep. 
Got a Lingering Souls, a Vindicate, and two black-white lands on the wheel. Sounds good. Sounds good. I got a little, uh, a little mailer from Carabas. Introducing the Bring Homemade Home event. Any night, only $10. What do you got here? Oh, we got two coupons. 20% off your next visit and 20% off your next carryout or delivery. Deal, Carabas. Deal. That was loud. Order any regularly priced entree and take home your choice of an entree, like our linguine positano with chicken or lasagna with soup or salad for just 10 bones. That's pretty good. As far as chain Italian restaurants go, Carabas is legit the best. I don't think it's even close. Oh, uh, I guess we're going to take Journey because we're not going to be able to play the wear part, so I think Journey is fine. Angel did come back. God, we know it all. Uh, Revel Arc can go. We'll just take the Tristani. Maybe we're Abzan. Kithian's fine. Whatever. Uh, there's actually no Buka de Beppas around here, I don't think. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. That's something. Here, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. There you go. Like, we could splash these. I'm not going to pass a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Let's be real. Let's be realistic here, guys. Um... I actually think Caracas is fine, especially in cube. Being able to bounce, like, there's so many legendary creatures. We can't even play Choop. Choop Scout doesn't have four toughness. In fact, there's nothing with four toughness other than Thundermaw Hellkite. We already have one, two, three, four. We already have four fat boys. I'm going to take this Caracas. Turn two. Second pick Caracas feels real bad, though. But we're not going to play Blood Crypt or Trop or Sylvan Carry added. I think it is Caracas, actually. I don't think we want a second Jace. Recurring Nightmare with Elspeth Lingering Soul seems very good. Aleshnorn also seems very good. Emrakul seems... Eh, decent. I'm just going to take Recurring Nightmare. Um, Flooded Strand and Godless Shrine and Treachery? If either one of these comes back, I will be extremely grateful. I think we have to take Treachery here. I think we're splashing the black. Everflowing Chalice is fine, I guess. Yeah, it's whatever. Orzov Signet, Splashing the Black, remember guys? Necromancy's cool, but uh, I'd rather have a Signet if we're Splashing the Black. Did you guys hear we're Splashing the Black? Splashing the Black, guys. Living Death, Fatal Push could be good. No, you stay over there. I don't hate Living Death, but we're Splashing the Black. Remember, Splashing the Black? Cruel Signet doesn't do anything for us. I'll just take Fatal Push. Maybe it's not to see Rex Arc, right? Did I catch something about splashing? Uh, it's about the black. You see? Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Just take Fatal Push. Hero of Bladehold has four toughness, and I could not be more thrilled about it. Oh, yes. That is a card. We're also getting a bunch of cards that make tokens for this recurring nightmare, which is pretty sweet. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. I come from a pickle. Relish Norn. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 
Holy shit, that's amazing. Oh, this guy's got a big old... This is a thick boy, kind of. Disc golfer, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Jesus, relish Norn. Oh, for fudge sake. I'm going to take this sword. We had enough creatures to play it, especially with Lingering Souls and Hero Bladehold and Elspeth. Um, our thick count is definitely... We've already... We've we've reached maximum thick countness. And then some so far. We have six thicks. We're six thick. Sword of Fire and Ice. Do we just play two two swords with four for the four pros? I don't think Arcane Artisan is doing us any favors here. Thran Dynamo came back, but neither of the lands did. That's sad. I don't think Unis Prowler. I don't think we're... Does this ability just say we have to play all of the... All creatures must have a toughness four or greater. Okay. Understood. <clears throat> Library of Alexandria. And Nicobolus Dragon God. And Ashen Rider. And Day of Judgment. And, and, and. I mean, it's just taking a library of Alexandria, right? Doesn't seem that close. I am looking forward to getting some blue... Uh, some blue-white lands. I think this Azorius Signet is probably, probably perfect. Ideally, Worm Coil comes back. <clears throat> but... I'm okay without it. Was there a Vampiric Tutor or Demonic Tutor in that pack? If it's Vampiric Tutor, I'm not super concerned with that. I, think, oh, I thought it was Vampiric. You think it was Demonic? You don't know? Do I care about Seachrome Coast? I mean, I do. I definitely do. I really hate these. I hate having Concealed Courtyard and Seachrome Coast. I'm an idiot, so don't listen to me. Wow, what happened? What did I miss? Did you go to clip it and figure it out? Uh, we're not going to take Gristlebrand because we have no real way to to exploit a Gristlebrand. I think we're just taking the Sea Chrome Coast. It's like my least favorite. <clears throat> uh, Windswept Heath gets Scrubland. It's not terrible. We could also play this Tristani with a Windswept Heath. Could just take this Tendrils too. You know, like you do. Jace Vrin's Prodigy is also nice. Batterskull is thick. I think I like Windswept Heath just because it gets... And if we get any blue-white land or even green-white land... Verdant Catacombs, do you get... You could also get a scrub land. Kaya is interesting. I actually kind of like Kaya here. Yeah, I'm going to take this Kaya. I haven't tried her in <clears throat> in a cube yet. But now we can. This is a thick boy. What does he hit? Literal nothing, I think? Yeah, we have literal no instants in our deck. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's just Soulfire Grandmaster. It's another thing to get back with Sun Titan if we manage to get like a Time Walk or something. <laughs> oh, we can't actually play this. My bad. That was... God, that was stupid. Way to go, you stupid idiot. <clears throat> I guess Tassiger is playable. Nothing else is. Maybe we're just not playing the blue. I think the blue is like we have the two two of the strongest blue cards in the cube and I feel like they just make our deck worse. Dark petition not terrible. Sword spear spear could actually be good with lingering souls, Elspeth here of Bladehold. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we're going to go with spear. Oh, Day of Judgment, actually. I was hoping that would wheel. Um, I think it's actually Day of Judgment. This is also a two-drop. It keeps going to the one-drop spot. 
Spear and Thickens the smallest man. That's true. I was actually hoping this guy came back. The Worm Coil didn't, but the Demon Lord Belzenlock did. Which is kind of cool, because I can just get rid of Tassiger, which I'm not thrilled about. And we can actually... This is actually a fine Demon Lord Belzenlock deck. Varaska? Do we have a way to splash the Varaska? We did not take the Celestia Signet. We do have a Windswept Heath. What if the Signet comes back? I mean, it's probably just better to take Face Fetters, right? Yeah. Go for the throat. Ooh, that's nice. I am splashing black. Um, uh, let's take I'll okay, take a corpse stance because we're not going to be able to play Thalia. Balance. That's a last. That's a late balance. Our deck doesn't have many creatures, but the ones we do have. They are fat boys. They are the fattest of boys. Man, Treachery and Jace in the sideboard. Where's the Justice? I think, I think our, our deck is just better for it. I'm going to take out this because we already have Azorius Signet and Orzov Signet. And we have Thran Dynamo. I, I also know the Band of the Shins. Thank you. Is this a thing? Artillacom, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You guys are wonderful. I'm a fan of all of you. <clears throat> welcome to the Sultai Brood, as it were. Have some free money. I will. I will accept your free offering. I think our deck is actually pretty good like this. Spear is just nice as removal. How much is this tip? You can check my Twitter profile. <clears throat> oh, not my Twitter profile. My Twitch profile. It's got all the details down there. And uh, I also mentioned that, like, <clears throat> nothing is set in stone. So if it's if it's something you can't handle, we can just talk about it. Not a big deal. One, two, three, four. Wind Sub Teeth gets Scrubland. We could actually play Trostani off of this one Wind Sub Teeth, but it doesn't seem great. We're playing Double Swords. We make a lot of tokens. We have Lingering Souls, uh, Elspeth, Hero of Blade Hold. I could just play Fatal Push over one of the swords. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Three and nine? That's all. Probably five, seven. Double black. One, two, three, four, five. Like, we could still play the blue cards, right? Can't we? black cards blue cards if we had a way for windswept heath to get a blue source I would be much more on board with this we also can't activate Tassiker uh, I meant twitch not twitter yeah I, I, I don't I barely use twitter Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white sources, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eleven, eight seems fine, especially because we have both both signets produce white, only one of them produces black. Alright, let's see how this goes. I don't think we have any creatures that have uh toughness less than four. Yeah, seems good. Ah, uh, yes. Turn one, Library of Alexandria, go. Oh, we're on the draw, too? Oh, that's great. Mm. 
more like tiny message central am i right yeah that's actually correct all the messages are very tiny that's a hell of a mulligan I'll just run out of Dire Fleet Daredevil. Interesting. Ready for some food? Uh, as long as it's not... I mean, like, I don't want pizza, though. I don't know what you're... I don't know what you're doing here. I don't know what your... What's your game? I don't know what your game is here. Uh, yeah, we're going to draw. <clears throat> and then we can actually just go land... Get rid of this guy, because otherwise we're discarding. And then that still puts us at 7... Oh, next turn we can exile their Manic Vault? That seems good. We have seven cards, they have three cards? It's Chicken Sunday. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Every day is Chicken Sunday. I do love a good salad. We are at seven now, which means we can play a land. This exile a permanent, right? I mean, we go down to six, which is fine, because we just draw a card next turn and we can activate our... Our dude. <clears throat> Seems good. <sighs> or we can alternatively not care about the library anymore and just play Hero Blade Hold. I don't know. Wow, that's messed up. She ate two cards. She ate a Lightning Helix and she ate a Mana Vault. If we go up to eight, we play a land. Yeah, that's actually fine. Draw a card. We can go land. Spear. Which puts us down to six. We draw a card. Draw a card. Like it. Land. Hero. Your turn. Let's go to game two. Oh, uh, I didn't see anything that I really, uh, really, I mean, we saw like three cards. We saw Lightning Helix, Mana Vault, Tithe Taker, and Dire Fleet Daredevil. I mean, awkwardly, I'm just going to keep this because I have Library of Alexandria. <laughs> so, you know, like you do. I haven't had pizza since Friday? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. It's crazy that you think you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I haven't had pizza for this long. How many games are you just going to start with Library of Alexandria and just draw like a bunch of cards off of it? Like a lot. So we go up to nine here. We go land. That was a good land to hit too. Oh, we can't even go for the throat this guy, which is kind of sad. 
That's kind of sad. I don't think Sword of Feast and Famine does much here. Um, yeah, we can actually discard Sword and then still get it back with Sun Titan. That's pretty cool. I'm mean, not going to discard Souls because we can just play it next turn. We can go land Souls. I mean, we could also we could also draw a card and do it, but uh, there's no real point to that because we're just going to have to discard a card at that point anyway because we're not playing a card from our hand. So now we're still going up to nine. We could also go land Azorius Signet. I kind of just like Lingering Souls here, though. Ooh, strip mine. Getting aggressive here, my dude. All right, now we just have to work. Now just have to just use natural, natural lands. It's awkward. Do we just kill this? It's got to go, right? Let's see if you want to trade your your hand for this hand. You got a decision to make now. They did. They wanted those cards. Wow, they got Snapcaster, Tide Taker, Lightning Strike, and Island. And these were this was a gamble. They could have gotten junk. That guy's good. He's good. I wish this was an Orzhov signet. I don't want to get no dazed. I ain't afraid of no days. Also, Sun Titan gets back library. That's pretty cool. Can you assist me with Frank's dinner? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Stop it. We had a fun game going on here, and now you're just being ridiculous. We play Thrand Dynamo, we can play Lingering Souls. What does that do? Yeah, we're just going to play this. Oh, do they just lightning helix us? Are they going to kill us? From seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. Are they going to fire blast us? Wow. Well, that was something, all right. I 
Seems like Fatal Push is actually probably pretty good here. Sort of Feast and Famine, not so much. That was not reasonable. Um, this hand's suspect, but I'll keep it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, splashing for Tristani is not out of the question. Oh, you got Mana Vault and Mana Crypt. Rabble Master on turn one? All right. Ideally, we can deal with this guy quickly, and they don't. If they had Rabble Master, they would have played Rabble Master on turn one. That's just a better, just a better play all around. So, they didn't do anything there. A lightning helix our face. Yep. My issue with doing it to the crypt is that the crypt could actually just kill them out of nowhere, and we didn't see a ton of spells in either of the games that really uh that really abused crypt. Well, I'm probably not playing that. I mean, maybe we just get rid of this guy. We could face fetters on their mana crypt. That doesn't do anything, guys. Oh, face fetters. No, face fetters doesn't work on crypt. Face fetters says, uh, can't attack or block. It's activated abilities can't be activated unless they are mana abilities. Yep, Dak Faden's pretty good here. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Well, I don't love having to use a go for the third on this guy. But considering I have go for the third, I'm probably just going to journey to nowhere this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so they can bane fire us for six, but lightning bolt and helix are in the graveyard. Okie dokie. Still two cards. Three cards now. Man, they just drew a card? Unbelievable. Every turn they're drawing cards? This is ridiculous. I don't have the mana for that because they they took my guy. Well, we're just gonna play recurring nightmare. I'm not like if they have a, a spell for that, if they have a response for this, it's fine. I'm not gonna like protect it. They gonna negate this? That's fine. Oh, sure, that's actually good for us. Really, your last two cards in the gate spell caller? Sure they are. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? That makes total sense. I mean, 
You have to have you have three cards. Two of them have to be the exact two cards that would allow you to put a two three on board and get rid of two of my spells. Like that that just makes sense. That's just good sense. Put us to three. All right. How dead are we, guys? How dead are we? This is not going well. I don't know if this is a... I don't know if this is a recurring nightmare deck, even. I like the idea of it. I like the idea of getting back our things like Baneslayer Angels and Sun Titans. But... Uh, There's a Zergo Planeswalker? What is even happening? And they never don't have Fire Blast. Alright, good times. Edit deck. Let's take out the Feast and Famine for Fatal Push. Actually, Recurring Nightmare. Maybe, maybe Recurring Nightmare is worse. It's, it can't be worse. You mean Xenagos? Uh, see, this hand seems great. Why not play Chalice? Because we already have two Signets. And a Thran Dynamo. I mean, I can see Chalice over Thran Dynamo. Next time we can go Dynamo into Sword or Dynamo into Signet. I think we're going into Sword. Just better, just better value. This is the part where they're like, do I counter this? Sure, you got it. I hath been dazed. Well, they use days and they can't four spike here so next turn we can go one two three four for thran dynamo add three play this if we hit a land we can equip seems pretty good we didn't hit a land can we just bane slayer angel here I really don't want to have just Bane Slayer get countered. I'd rather have this get countered. I'm just going to pass here. Because they have to do something. Oh, I didn't even know they, I didn't even know they suspended that. When did they even suspend that guy? What in the earth? I said, what? Now they got the cryptic command. That's got to go, right? Buddy. Now we got Sun Titan to get him back. It's pretty good.
Well, that seems good. And now the only permanent they can really bounce profitably is probably Thran Dynamo. I guess they could bounce the sword as well if they want to. Yep, had a feeling that was going to be your mode. Do I play any musical instruments? I do not. I have taken drum lessons. Uh, I've always wanted to play piano. And I have messed around on guitars for mm, a good amount of life. But I wouldn't say I play any of those things. Not, not well in any aspect. I do play Italian violin sometimes. Mostly when I'm streaming or playing Magic the Gathering. I mean, our board seems pretty good. Sun Titan, we got a spear with a sword. We're just kind of waiting. gonna bounce this? yep that's what I figured well this is a that's pretty good Like, are we playing around Wrath Effects? Because I really want to run, like, Hero Blade Hold out, but I guess we have Recurring Nightmare, which is fine. Actually, it's probably Baneslayer instead. Oh, they're at four, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Because Hero's nicer because you can actually attack with it, get the tokens, and then Recurring Nightmare them. Yep. 
Yikes. Don't you? Why is that not? How come that didn't show up? That's sad. Honey's Joker. It's a trap. Draft step any card that is or has a dragon on it in the art or the text. Nikki and Ugin are both dragons. Here's the trap. Kikijiki and Sneak Attack both have picked dragons in art with other. Uh, both have dragons in art along with other cards. Power over all. Oh, that got cut off. So Travis, send me that somewhere, somewhere else. Like send it in chat. There is a dragon in the sneak attack art. That is true. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna submit like this. I don't think we're. Uh, didn't seem like there was a ton of options for us there. They didn't play a ton of things. I don't hate this hand. It has all the mana we want. I still don't love it, though. Day of Judgment seems like a mulligan by itself. This hand seems worse, because the Day of Judgment is still there. Sure. That doesn't seem great at all. Thank you. Swifty Gamers, thank you so much for the reset. 12 months. Really appreciate it, buddy. Okay, any card that has a dragon on it, you get to, you get a, you, you get a, you get one alternate pick per pack, and power and lands over any card. All right, that sounds good. Oh, soaring, just casual, super cash. That was rude. Although, if there's any deck that Disenchant is great against, it's ours. I'm tempted to just play this and wait three turns and just start drawing cards. Well, now if we draw another land, we get to... Demon Lord Bell will walk. And that's kind of like a library, so I guess we're just going to play Lingering Souls Part 1. I'm going to counter my Lingering Souls. Spell Queller. Whatever, dude. I've been waiting a whole year for this moment. That's pretty funny. Um, so what you're saying is you're missing land drops? Yeah, I know we're just going to get rid of the Soul Ring. I'm trading Kai in two damage for a Soul Ring, which is just fine. Put that in the queue. Oh, you're gonna force a bullet? Cool. I mean, we're just looking for one land so we can Demon Lord Bells unlock here. This is not, uh,. Oh boy. You got the recall? Path to exile. That's pretty good. This guy's getting path. We're going to draw some cards on the way out at least. 
Unless they daze it. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Fantastic. I mean, if we get to play, if we hit another land and we can Angel of Serenity next turn, it's pretty sweet. That's kind of like a land, right? Oh, we don't have a black. All right. Pay one, pay a black, recurring nightmare. Go to ten. And if they have another counter spell, if they have if they have days, force of will, and something else that isn't cryptic command, what are you gonna do? And spell queller. Let's not forget spell queller. Let's not forget spell queller. Okay, cool. Yep, just done. Actually, Dave Jumper would have been pretty decent there, comically enough. Uh, I think Boarding and Jace is fine, but I don't think Treachery is very good against them, so I don't know if that's great. Can we play Relic Order? We didn't draft it. Do we still get to play the cards in our sideboard? That's always what I'm confused about. Their deck seems great, though. They have Cryptic Command, Mystic Confluence, Teferi. Yeah, Gonti would be great. Hmm. That should help. <laughs> we just we play Gonti and we just keep bouncing it with our own Caracas. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Especially because this deck is their deck is super slow. It's not really a s speedy matchup. Apparently, Crutch Jr. Uh, has been order has ordered food, and uh, I have to be on the lookout for it now. I actually have no idea what it is. So, food incoming. Got. Draw, draw, play, pass the turn. So next turn we can go to eight, play a swamp, go to seven, draw, land, go to eight. Uh, 
They could daze this. We could have played around daze, I think. They did they didn't care. They were like, eh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's like no big deal, dude. One, two, three. We're just gonna orzo. We're gonna we're gonna Kaya here. <sighs> Man, buttery biscuits. A little crutchy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's a little crutchy? Oh God. That gets back a Kaya. A Kaya. I'm kind of just want to vindicate a land. Because they can't Cryptic Command, we're going to have to discard a card, and they can't Mystic Confluence here. So it actually takes them off quite a few counter spells. I'll pay one, sure. Resolves. What if they targeted the wrong one? That'd be hilarious. If they bounce the wrong one, rather. So, depending on what they do. Oh yeah, whatever this is, I don't, I don't think I care. Unless it's like Ravages of War. But then we're still ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you get you get this one dude. They draw two islands. Yeah, hundred percent. Got force of will another blue card. No, you do not. Oh, we forgot to draw first. Did we not? That's pretty bad. We play the land and we play the thing. That's fine. We'll just draw next turn. Uh, why didn't we library there? Uh, because we forgot. Like it's a, it's a, it's a thing. Sometimes uh, there's this thing called forgetting, and uh, it's a, it's a, it's a memory issue where like you'll 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 want to do something but then you won't do it because you forgot. Um. It's a it's a really weird it's it's weird but it's it's pretty common. I imagine you've heard of it. You probably heard of it before. Oh my bad, my bad. Here comes Teferi. Gonna do a little Tuckaruski. You got it. You got it, man. Man, Kaya seems less impressive now. Four, five, six. Let's go to seven. Let's go to draw a card. Let's play Caracas. So we could go to six here. Yeah, I guess we're just fine with that. Cards in exile are up to two. So it deals damage to, they take two and we gain two. That's pretty good. I don't know how they win there. Just gotta make sure I'm watching. Did they play both of those islands? I don't know, man. I don't think so. I think they still have an island. And what do they put? Glen. Sure. Hmm. 
Now they played an island. I assume that's all the islands. You got it. You got it. Good for you. I don't want to go to, I don't want to play anything here because then we can't draw with this. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, let's get you. You're the only one I care about. I wish we had more creatures. You know what? We are going to exile this. We have nobody to get this back. And it's just better for... For Delaney. If you blink an O-ring type card, can you retarget the original target as a blink fully resolved before the target comes back? Um... That's a good question. I can't actually think of how that works at this moment. We have six cards in hand. How do we have the same number of cards when we're like drawing infinite cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mana. Mana sources. To one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight non nine man non mana sources. And go back up to seven. Draw a card. God, I like drawing cards. They got rid of the. Did they, get, did they use that path yet? That was the last game, wasn't it? happening right now what is happening fencer you're gonna just bounce my archangel wow that's the rudest thing you could do So nine cards, huh? So we kind of have to play land now. So we, they don't have counter spell mana. We know they have Galenalandra Archmage. Four, five, six, seven. Could play Thran Dynamo first. Yeah, that seems fine. One, two, three, four, dynamo. I actually don't care about bouncing this guy. Because like if we bounce this and they like they, they could just get a they just get an advantage if we do that. Sure. Exile, none. Keep on going up. Riffwing Cloud Skate? What in the earth? Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd lose two lands and a bunch of cards in hand. Uh, 
Yeah, it's actually fine. I'm not going to bounce this guy because I really don't want them to have the value of playing a Vencer again. I think it's. Wait, what just happened? Oh, we have eight cards. <laughs> Wait, why didn't I do that? Uh, so we're going to go control. Play this. Hey, look, it's, I bet there's a swamp here. Ready? Pfft. Basically a swamp. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. Just at a point where, like, if they manage to kill any of them, we know they have Glenelander and three other cards. My problem is they're not killing anything. They're just... I is still dealing too. Why don't they have anything in their graveyard? That's super weird to me. Four cards they have. Yep. Yeah, Mana Drain's definitely going by itself. Yep, and they put Mana Drain into their hand. Glen and Drain. <sighs> Here comes Glenn. Oh, fascinating. Don't love it, but we do have go for the throat. I guess they have mana drain now, so. If they want to mana drain, go for the throat, that's actually fine. They did not. All right, what are our options? One, two, three, four, five. So we have six, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. That's a lot. I feel like this is probably best. So now I should have 12 mana, 13 mana. Nothing yet. All right. All right. So we can play Bells Unlock here. Three, four, five, six. Sure. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, this just resolves. Four, five, six, seven. All right, I guess we'll pass here. We know they have Glen, Glen and Drain, which is actually not super impressive. We get to queue up Avacyn.
I mean, I don't want to throw a recurring nightmare into their mana drain, which we know they have, because then they just counter it. Sure. So you think you can stop me and spit my eye? Oh, Jace just died. Okay. Uh, they mana drain this. We get, then we get the Sun Titan. I think. One, two, three, four, five. Colorless, colorless. Just gotta get out. Just gotta get right out of here. Thank you. Michael Rice, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Or welcome to the regular... Thank you for the regular sub. Really appreciate it. Four mana. It's cryptic command? Because that's pretty good. Apparently not. We do have 11 cards to their 19. Gotta keep watching out for dinner. Yep. Surprise, surprise. Wish I could activate this in response. <whistles> Anyone can see. I'm pretty sure you have cryptic in hand. Cause you tapped for mana like a sucker. <laughs> that might have been what you were trying to play. Well, crack this scrub land. Man, Lingering Soul seems fine here. So they have one card in hand? This seems good for us. Use your five mana. Just gotta get right out of here. Oh god. I think I like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 5. They have 14 mana. Hmm. Bounce Teferi and what was the other mode? Just draw a card. Yeah, sure, that's fine. All this is fine. Oh, give me one second, guys. Food's here.
Okay, we're back. And we're in our upkeep, and we're gonna draw. It was a swamp. It's not exciting. Oh, they're they're Vendillion clicking. Well, the problem is they can counter recurring nightmare. We could hit fatal push. But I don't know how we lose a permanent on board. Balance has been pretty bad this game. God, recurring nightmare is really good for us here. Seems good. The ghostly outline over recurring nightmare is the nightmare itself. I just finished the four day boot camp put on with the Society of American Archivists. They presented a lot of good information, but I'm exhausted now. Four days is a good amount of time. Yep. Take a game. Wait, they. Oh, they targeted us. These, these arrows are weird. I'm like, you're targeting yourself? Oh, you're targeting us? I don't know what's going on. I guess the crosshairs is the person looking down at. And the target is the, the target. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are two lands in the next 10 cards. We could bounce Vendillion click. Which I think is fine. I mean, if they want to trade Glenlinger Archmage for one of these guys, that's okay. Um, so when a non creature creature transforms, there's each other creature and each opponent. Um, I think we actually can balance here just to sacrifice a guy. We lose lands too, but I mean, like we're going to lose the lands if we play them anyway, so balance it is we lose everything here but then we get to flip Archangel Avacyn choose 10 lands uh, click done to sacrifice the rest 10 remaining 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 just for the heck of it choose a card in your hand click done to discard the rest I will keep this one Choose two creatures you control. Click done to sacrifice the rest. I guess we should have kept Avacyn in the wall, right? <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, play just put in. Yeah, we're trying to play faster now. Well, now we have 6-5. Michael, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Oh, what did you draw? Hmm. <laughs> Something incredible. Seems good. Seems pretty, 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 pretty good. Just negative five. Um, 
Uh, hers should be five. Because they changed it so that the backs don't have the same as the fronts. Okay, thanks. I'm like, oh, no, no, wait, it's seven. I forgot. Yep. All right. All right. Well. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh no, they have Vendillion click. I forgot about that. That's so ridiculously, that's so sad. Oh, crying out loud. And we draw a land instead. I totally forgot about the Vendillion click. Wow, that's disappointing. Mistakes were made, guys. <sighs> so bad. We're one two right now? Oh man, this makes me sad. Guys, I have a sad. Oh, two lands in a row. Fantastic. Is that all of them? Is that every land in our deck? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That is every land in our deck. The next eight cards. Nothing but spells. Nah, you're definitely drawing a land next. You're right. You're right. So the bottom of our deck is literally Recurring Nightmare, which is terrible at that point, followed by Demon Lord Bells and Lock. Mm. Dig through time. Seems good. Seems very good. Uh, we don't have any more Mana Rocks. Okay. Wish it was an Oblivion Ring instead. They're just gonna mystical. Uh, no, they can't actually. They can't actually Mystic Confluence and counter anything at this juncture. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen mana. Uh, I'm trying to think of what our other threats are. Avacyn's gone. Baneslayer Angel's gone. Our two six drops are gone. Our seven drop is gone. We have a Karn. Karn could be good. Oh, Soul Ring, okay. Are you serious right now? This is amazing. I'm just like just in, just incredible. Joke's on you, buddy. I got a Spear of Heliod. It's the last damage you'll ever deal. I wish it was Destro Destroy Target Permanent that dealt damage to you this turn. Wouldn't that be gas? They can oog in our face, and then we just be like, nope. Kill that thing. What the hell? Can we just win off this hero blade hold? How many counter spells can they have left, possibly? It's not legendary, so we can't protect it, unfortunately, but they can bounce it with Mystic Confluence if that's one of the cards they, they drew. Oh, they can also just negative four this. Never mind. They do have I I'm like, there's so many things I'm having to keep track of here that it's like they're attacking because they're going to uh that is one or more colors so we can yeah all right well because there's more than one hero that's all 
Yep, and our spear goes away as well. Okay, well. <laughs> Make a guy. So we have one card, then we have... No, we have two cards, then we have Recurring Nightmare, then we have Bells and Lock on the very bottom. Unbelievable. I wish this was legendary. My god. Are you just going face here? Really? Really? Just gotta get right out of here. I don't think we're winning this game by any stretch of the imagination, but... We do have a fatal push for this, uh... Well, that's sad. That was just rude. They have five cards in hand? Where do these cards come from? I guess they're just not playing anything? They could have missed a Confluence drawn two and bounced that. I don't think that's very good, though. All right, we're going to play this just to make sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, six. Yeah, we can also... We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 mana, so we can play around Mystic Confluence. And we have this one soldier token to get Recurring Nightmare back if it's the next card, which it should be. Oh my god, this game has been insane. They have four cards, but we've seen all the counter spells we know of. We've seen Cryptic Command, Force of Will. We haven't seen Mystic Confluence yet, but. Oh, we didn't attack there because we're bad at this game. Yeah, we can't draw with the sword. That's true. And we can just get back something else, right? If we restart the game, do we get new timers? Because <laughs> that would be amazing. Yep, you got it. Yeah, we're just dead now. <laughs> Here you go. Wow, Spell Queller. Come on. I guess we didn't see that. Yeah, that's just game. This was so close, too. I mean, it wasn't close, but it was like... God, we drew like a million cards with this... With this Library of Alexandria, too. Sure. I'm going on my terms, my dude. Actually, we didn't because we don't... They exiles the card he doesn't draw. That's sad. Is there any way to, like... Yeah, we're doing it. Uh-huh. Cast this. Dude, I'm trying to kill myself with my own friggin... My own... I was just gonna get back Wall of Omens, dude. I can't do anything. Just... Alright, we get it, dude. You have it all. I was literally going to get back Wall of Omens and just kill myself. And uh, they're like, no, I can't risk it. Heavens. Heavens, no. <laughs> I have to make sure that I have an answer for every single card you've played in the entire game of Magic the Gathering. Good times. Good times.
Love a good nerd voice. Yeah, you and me both. I am a nerd voice aficionado. All right, we got one more round. Heavens to Mercatroid. <laughs> oh, my God. Caleb, no worries, buddy. Good games, good games. I was actually going to... I was actually on a little rant there because I was literally going to... Uh, uh, recurring Nightmare in my Demon Lord Bells and Lock uh, to get back Wall of Omens and kill myself. But um, you simply had to have it all. So I couldn't do that. So, uh, unfortunately, Fun Police was in full force that game, good sir. It happens, it happens. Good games, good games. Uh, we'll keep this hand. <laughs> I was like, why are you pathing this? I have no cards in my library. Oh, man, just let me do something. Yeah, that game was really grindy. Library of Alexandria? Dang it. It's never a Library of Alexandria. Yeah, no, that's fair. I mean, like, there's a lot of factors to consider, so it's literally a better safe than sorry situation. So, I understood. I was just like, oh my god, so far. I just wanted to, I just wanted the the flavor points for killing myself. That sounds really funny. That's a really funny sentence to have said. Wow, this is how you want to be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Caleb Gannon, good luck, buddy. Good games and uh, good luck in future rounds, my dude. Uh, one flavor buck. Kerwood, thank you so much, buddy. Oh, good. Oh, good. The old turn three Rex Sage Killier Azorius Signet into Natural Order. Yeah, the Salt High deck. Oh, that's a classic. <sighs> well, let's play around days, I suppose. So I guess this guy was only, uh, it was three cards for one card, but then they got two lands. It was basically the equivalent of that four mana spell that's like, search your library for two lands and put them in play. I want to die. Nope, not a removal spell. Okay, good game. Good game. I think it's the straps and if so much. Yeah, Mr. Missouri, definitely check my Twitter. My I keep saying Twitter. God, I hate Twitter. Check my Twitch profile. Uh, there's information on my Twitch profile. <laughs> it's okay. Natural order into Primeval Titan into Consecrated Sphinx when you go with the Primeval Titan. Legit, legit. Uh, sort of feast of famine seems good. Treachery actually seems pretty decent here. All right, let's do it. Let's do it for the last two raw. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, is this enough? Maybe we want one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can cut one more. And this is what five sources, but all the sources need to be. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven blacks, eight black sources. We'll cut one more black source. And then we're going to add Jace and Treachery. We're going to cut. Actually, Day of Judgment, it's a green deck. We can take out the Thran Dynamo. Take out. 
probably Kaya. Hey, it helps if I scroll down and read the thing. Yeah, I'm... Uh, <laughs> That is true. That is true. All right, we got the two. We got the two. Uh, we got two black, two white, and two blue. It's perfect. It's like the perfect hand. Consecrated Sphinx is a really fair magic card, uh, in the sense that it is not a fair magic card in any way, shape, or form. But in that way, extremely fair. Got shell doc aisle. Hey, freaking chat! I just found a webcam in my basement that my roommate left when he moved to Japan. Should I start streaming shenanigans or leave it to the? Uh, you should definitely start streaming shenanigans. Two drop, signet, vindicate, vindicate. It's close. It's close. I don't know if you guys know this about vindicate, but you can blow up your opponent's shell doc aisle with vindicate. You can also blow whatever this two drop is up. Oh, a signet. Oh, my little signet. You can also save it in case you're afraid of their consecrated sphinx, you see. You can also just Azoria signet. You can play lingering souls. And then on the following turn, blow something up. Let's do that. It's on to the planning phase. Well, like, I like how like three people are like, yeah, you should stream. And you're like, all right. Sounds like we made a decision on this. Here comes Jace. You guys ready? Jace the Mind Sculptor. Here he is. Here he is. He's not. He's not coming. He changed his mind. Here comes Oracle of Moldiah. Edric. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Oh, Elspeth is nice. That is a, that is a solid little magic card. Huh. Treacheries do take care of sphinxes. Unfortunately, we have no treacheries. I mean, are we just afraid of them going natural order next turn? Not really. Not really. Make a soldier boy. We're just going to attack with one because I don't feel like having them go like, oh, bounce your soldier, I'll draw a card. Because that's a good value. Oh, we did board it in. That doesn't mean we have it in hand, though, is my point. <laughs> we could just bounce this guy with Caracas. That's pretty good. You guys are right. I mean, I probably still want to get this Elspeth down, but they have to have a second green source in order to play Primeval Titan, which they still don't. Or am I Primeval Titan, I mean Natural Order. Oh, a devoted druid. Oh, a devoted druid. You don't say. Wow. I'm double blocking this guy for sure. I guess we're just uh, playing this. Playing Signet. Bouncing this guy. She's a vegetarian. Mary Mo, Mary Mo. Whoop. They're gonna be like hex proof. Here comes I mean they're just gonna devote a druid into natural order here, which is fine because I think we have enough uh, enough going on that no single card can really hold us down. Ain't no single card gonna hold us now. Yep. You ready?
The Naturalist of Orders. <coughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. They have to tap this first, then tap the blue, then click on these two mana individually. Sack this creature. Yep. It's all coming together. Yeah. Woodfall Primus doesn't do anything. It just gets rid of this, and then we still have five creatures on board. It's fine. I ain't afraid of no primeval titan. It's from the Ghostbusters, but it's different because it's primeval titan and not Ghostbusters. So you can tell it's a similar song, but you know, not exactly the same. A little bit different. We well, got another. Beast within our Elspeth, huh? Oh, that's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we're playing this and cracking it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm probably just going to vindicate this guy and put you to... Oh, this guy's not attacking this turn. That is sad. And we still have to get rid of Primeval Titan. I don't think that's even a question, so. Magic's hard, man. Now they're just going to Windmill Slam Consecrated Sphinx, so the games are exactly the same as they were last time. Your hand is always Natural Order Primeval, natural order uh, Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, never fails. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord. Sure. Give me that treachery one time. Just one time. Whatever. You draw your two? Got rid of it. Nailed it. It was not a treachery. We just predicted their cards. Like, they always have Natural Order and a Primeval Titan followed by a Consecrated Sphinx every game, so. Three, four, five, six, and they actually have to block the Beast, so. I still feel like we're in great shape here, actually. But, I mean, boy, is Consecrated Sphinx a hell of a, hell of a magic card. So things like Opposition are probably not an option. They're not an op op option options -ition. That's just terrible. And we won the game. All right. No thanks to those idiots. Does Kaya do anything here? I don't think so. Yeah, none of these cards are super exciting against their deck. That is all anyone can ask for. Well, we won, so I mean, that's that's good, right? Uh, my psychic abilities do not go. They don't. They don't extend that far, unfortunately. They they don't extend into anything uh, anything worthwhile. Zaxor, 15 months. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. You guys are all great. Thank you so much. We are on a roll. A delicious, fresh-baked roll. Sand's pretty rough. It doesn't do anything. I'm going to keep it because we got a treachery. And an Elspeth. We need another blue and another white. Seachrome Coast would be just fantastic. 
I think we had Treachery and Jace in the first cube draft as well, yes. Okay, we're halfway there. They've had Shell Dock Isle every single game. It's pretty amazing. Pretty fantastic. Well, they have no creature to uh, to natural order on turn three, so that's good. Lucky, 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 lucky. Well, that guy's dead. Thanks for doing my salt eye step. I caught it on YouTube. Yeah, it was actually great, dude. And we splashed that nickel bolus. Ooh. Ooh. And then we cast it on turn two off that lotus. What a time to be alive. Okay, that's enough. That's enough white sources, but I, I'll take it. You can counter this? You got counter spells in your deck? Disallow. No greater feeling than to kill a Jace. Wow, you ever you were not I bet there I wonder if there's games where you don't actually have Primeval Titan in play. I can't imagine there are. It seems like there's not. Maybe there are. Boy, those would be weird. Can I get a blue source right now? I was asking for a lot, I know. Oh boy. Do, 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 do. Last game we have treachery. We have double blue source, no treachery. This game we have single blue source treachery. It's it's a conspiracy, I tell you. Rex, Rex Sage, kill this. Search for two more lands. Hit us for six. Wow. Scrubland. I will play Sun Titan with no, uh, nothing to get. Hold on. Hold on. They're doing a thing. Hold on. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. They have had Rex Sage, Primeval Titan, and Sheldock Isle literally every every game. It is uncanny. Let me guess. Let me guess. Consecrated Sphinx is under Sheldock Isle. That's my guess. I'm the butterfly meme. And I'm like, is this fun? And it's like, getting wrecked in cube draft. Oh yeah, there you go. Might as well attack for 12. Get two more lands out of your deck. Knock yourself out. Like, we're at a point where even if we treachery to stupid Consecrated Sphinx, uh, we'd still just take 10 from the Nyssa lands, so. Day of Judgment could be good here. That's a good card. Oh, it's just a Garrick Pro it's just a Garrick Relentless. That's all. The old mid combat shell dock isle activation. That's classic. Oh boy. 
I don't know what, what the holdup is. Just pass the turn. <laughs> Someone in this game must be having fun. I imagine there is one of the there is one one player in this game that is having a good time. I would imagine. I just want to. I don't know where the holdup is. You have 14 power on board. Just let me let me take my turn and draw my demise. There you go. Fe Sword of Feast or Famine. Fantastic. I don't have a second mana. I can't treachery anything. All right. I kind of want to see what I would have drawn. Spear. Nope. Journey. Nope. Okay. Hey, I found that second island. Either way, the thick boys did not work that well, unfortunately. Either way, uh... Tom Bombadil, T Bombadil, thank you so much for the for the uh, opportunity to try it out. Uh, unfortunately, our boys were not thick enough. There were not enough thick boys, I think. But uh, either way, appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Check me out on manatraders.com with the promo code and the link in the description. You'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription, which is a great, great deal. Uh, you can also use meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, but you'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns on your order. Check out CoolStuffInc.com. I just had an article go up there recently, like yesterday. Uh, it's about Ilharg, the raised boar. And uh, leave a comment on that article. Go for, go for it. Go leave your, leave your thoughts. And um, if you use promo code FRANK5, you get 5% off. Either way, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will check you guys out later. Thanks for watching. See you later.